Hey friends, Jill and Nate here. Welcome back to Whispering Willow Farm. Good morning. We are excited to be here with you even if it doesn't seem that way. We're just really, really tired. <laughs> I'm feeling like less than energetic. <laughs> yeah, we had some bad storms last night. Mama's storm anxiety and just the adrenaline of that and then uh, I mean, we had waves and waves coming throughout the night, so I stayed up late just keeping an eye on the radar, and we're just a little tired this morning. We so. are tired. Yeah, so I think many of you guys know I do have some storm anxiety. Um, I lived in this town when we had a tornado a few years ago, and I you know, I've tried to explain that to Nathan, unless you've lived through one and had like all of your possessions just like ripped from you and destroyed and like, you just don't get it. <laughs> and so I do not take storms lightly, um, especially now that like I have kids, you know, I didn't have any kids um, when I lived through it the first time. And it just adds this extra level of like, these lives depend on me. Like, what do we do, you know? And so, it got scary last night. Um, we we don't have TV here, and so usually I rely on my sister uh, to call and tell me, "Hey, like now you need to take shelter." But she called right at the same time that the emergency alerts were going off on mine and Nathan's phone. We because the you know storms were setting in, I couldn't even get on the weather channels on my phone, um, and so we were just kind of like blind on what on earth do we do. Um, and then we just start hearing the house get beat. And we like wake the kids up, we go down into the basement. Thankfully it's a concreted basement, um, but. Guys, that hail last night was so intense. <clears throat> it, it sounded like rapid fire, like, like a gun going off rapid fire. Because we have a metal roof, because the, I mean, I went out and picked up golf ball size hail. Um, I haven't even looked at my vehicle to see. The vehicles look pretty bad. <laughs> Are they beat? Like the whole backside of my car is just like dent, 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 dent. Oh dent. man. Um, so, but it it was so intense because it came out, I, it came out of nowhere. It did. It started raining, and then within two minutes of it raining, it just started hailing. And like I said, we've got this metal roof, and it mm -hmm. was so loud. Yeah. Um, it sounded like warfare. <laughs> <laughs> it did it sounded like guns going off yeah so i kind of knew it was serious when tito just starts our cat um i mean he just starts like running in circles he's got made like you could tell something was off and i'm like okay this is this is serious um you know our goal is the as parents is really just to keep our kids calm charlie mm -hmm. Uh, I mean, starts crying. She's very scared. We just like try to pray over her and like, you know, reaffirm her that, hey, like God's got us. Like we're going to be okay. Um, stuff is just stuff, you know, like we can replace it. Um, what did she say? She was crying, crying, and you were saying it was going to be okay. And then she asked about her plants or something. Oh, yeah. She's like, are my zinnias going to make it? And I'm like... <laughs> I don't know, but if not, I will start you some more. Yeah. We will buy you some more. Like, it is going to be okay. Yeah, um, so, yeah, we're about to walk the farm and assess the damage. Uh, Nathan yeah. went and got the dogs last night, you know, and tried to, and we just kept them in for the rest of the night and tried to look around, but it's really hard to see. I'm just looking out in the raised bed garden right now. I see all my plants that I have transplanted out are, they're, they look they're probably toast. They look pretty toast. Um, all my daffodils and tulips just got like decapitated. Like, I mean, the hill just like destroyed it. Uh, really what we're looking at now is like our, the, the greenhouse is the biggest damage that we're going to try to see how bad that is. If, um, a lot of it went through, if so, are we like, do we need to replace it? All this other stuff. Um, also, though, many of you guys, Jess was texting me last night. A lot of you guys hopped on her uh, Friends of Roots Refuge page asking about us, checking on us. Uh, we appreciate that so much. We are going to ask, though, that you keep us uh, in your mind still because this was uh, the lightest of the next three days. Um, so today and tomorrow in our area, they are saying it is going to get pretty intense, and this yeah. was just kind of... 
uh, the beginning of what's to come. Yeah. Um, round two tonight and supposedly the worst of it's coming Wednesday night, tomorrow night. Yeah. Or whenever you guys are seeing this yeah. video. <laughs> They'll probably see it on Wednesday, but okay. uh, yeah. So I think if anything, this like let us kind of, you know, you don't really know how you're going to react to that situation until you're put in that situation. And so for me, um, there's a few things I could work on, staying calmer. Um, I don't think I freaked out, but I was crying, and I think that kind of added. Like, it, when the hail came in, like Nathan said, it literally sounded like you could hear it hitting the windows in their garage, and it sounded just like, and then all of a sudden it was still. Yeah, that was You heard spiritual. nothing. And that's when, like, the tears start flowing because, like, I know what this means, and I'm like, Lord, no. And even when I drove the kids to school this morning, like, it literally came right through our area. I mean, you yeah. can't even see the streets. There's so much brush and debris on them. Yeah. Um, and so, yeah, y'all just keep us in your prayers. Um, thankfully, we do have the basement, you know, which is just concreted in. We feel really good and secure. We have a plan. But I think now, instead of starting upstairs and moving downstairs, we'll all just probably sleep in the basement. Um, we'll already have like little, you know, we were talking about going today and like buying some coloring books, getting some things to keep the kids occupied so they're not just sitting there worrying. Yeah. Um, so I think there's a few things we are like, okay, we can, we can do a little better. <laughs> um, but you ready to put your shoes on? And, and I'm probably going to go buy a weather radio today. I've wanted one of those for years. Yeah. And like, and then when we're down in the basement, we have no service. Yeah. So, like, my sister kept trying to call and tell me, like, hey, it's right on you guys, and she couldn't get through, and then she was freaking out, and you'd have to stand in a position, you know, like, right when you come down the stairs is when you have the one bar of service, which is not where you want to be if we're which in our, right like, by safe the garage zone. where yeah. all the windows are, so. Yeah, so, um, yeah. all right, well, let's go. Let's go look at this damage. Oh, I spotted a Sean P. Again, he was coming to pot up flowers today. I told him like, there, who may, is that there may not be any. Man with the sexy legs walking through <laughs> on my property. You should tell him that. <laughs> All right, let's go. Yeah. Is your car pretty beat up? Oh my gosh. Yeah. Busted my tail light. Did it really? Yeah. You busted your tail light. Yeah. Wow. Oh, that is intense. Yeah, it looks like your car got way more damage than mine. I wonder why. Well, that's good. <laughs> Let's go check on my poor little daffodil. Oh no. <laughs> Look at all of my poor little plants. I wonder if those will even like recover at all. Look at that. It just like took the top right off. Goodness gracious. Sean, what's the damage? Oh gosh. <laughs> I, I've never seen anything like that. I, uh, I picked up hail on that day. Yeah. Oh wow, so that's what like all these little marks are? I opened this door and I looked in here and you could see. Like, yeah, I can see holes all over. A lot of it bounced, but I mean, oh my God. There, was, there was ice pellets in here. It was like, Yes, some of the imprints in that tunnel are like that big. Yeah. Yes, there are holes all in it. Yeah. Did it do anything to the snaps? I mean, the plants look fine. Like, and not that many got through, but it's still like. What about in the other greenhouse? It looks worse than this one. Not, not as many holes, but more like yeah, impressions. Dimples. More, yeah. Looks like my booty. <laughs> like, <stripped out. laughs> <laughs> Uh, even in the end wall, that's crazy. Oh like, yeah. How hard yeah. it was coming from the plant cells in a few days. <laughs> so I guess the main goal is to make sure the plants are fine. Um, so you guys can see here all these little indentions. It looks like it didn't go through on some, but then I see up here 
that it, it did pierce through. Oh my gosh. I know you guys can't see that really well. I may try to take a photo with my phone and pop it in here. So, wow, yeah. So this is pretty much what it looks like most of the, just on the top of our, and that does have a hole. So, I mean, it's intense. Thankfully though, it doesn't really look like anything went through like our plants look fine um but we will definitely probably have to replace the plastic here so we will definitely have to replace this plastic um but i don't think that we're going to do that until we know we're free of these storms for the next few nights because if we came out here today put new plastic on it which we do have enough plastic we could do the small greenhouse um but that would just be silly you know in case we had more hail or more wind damage or whatever so we're essentially just like kind of riding out the storm at this point uh, over the next few days but thankfully it's just stuff you know um i had told nathan last night i just was like if it if it destroys all my plants they're just plants right like they're not they're not people they're not my family um and i think that that's something just to keep in mind um it's just like, as long as my family's safe, I can replace anything. Vehicles, tunnels, plants, um, and honestly, even animals, you know? <laughs> like, And so, uh, I was just trying to keep that in mind. Like, the people in this room are the people that matter to me. The people that I, you know, the things that I want safe um, and that I hold the most dear. <laughs> and then everything else I'm just I'm not going to worry about. So, that's where we are. Uh, all my tulips and daffodils are toast. Yeah. Bless it. Man, it just like decapitated them. <laughs> well, good thing I know where to buy organic garlic, I guess. Bummer. Did you check on the stuff, the flowers we just planted out? Uh, I kind of peeked, but... Couldn't tell. Couldn't tell. I put, like, tulip crates on top of my stuff at home. Um, but it didn't... But, like, by the time I got the tulip That's the thing, stuff, too, is, like, they I said... Um, I didn't realize that they were calling for hail until it was too late. Yeah. <laughs> and even then, I wouldn't well, have enough... What do you do? Like, yeah. Yeah. Nothing. That looks so bad. Gosh. Man. So, that might be worth replacing... I think we could repair the holes in here, but just... I think like. it depends too over the next two days like if <laughs> if this happens you know like th yesterday was the lightest of the next two days really? so this when, is just the, the waiting game according to the weather station Wednesday's the Wednesday's the worst day so I wonder if that's what the blackberries in the cottage garden look like I did want to check on some stuff in here real quick. <coughs> oh man. So here are all the brassicas I planted out the other day. Um, it's super, super wet, but these are all done. Um, we planted out this whole section um and they are all pretty much destroyed we did have some of these that hung on so that's encouraging but yeah all of these it just looks like someone came through with like a, a weed eater destroyed them we have all of our fox glove or was fox glove these were our bachelor buttons for the season. And as you guys can see, pretty tore up. Man, that is <laughs> really disheartening. So pretty much everything we have planted out in the garden is dead. Um, we're gonna have to completely start over. So 
and some of those things like we'll just have to probably like buy them I don't have time to start them and put them out oh Sean it killed uh, all the foxglove all the things we just put out all the brassicas Why? <laughs> <laughs> oh. what, the heck? what the heck mother nature look it blew all of these off you see that what? like all of these things the little uh, oh, the yeah it broke all of them off Wow. Did your glass help? I don't know. I wonder about the glass. Oh. Golly, those look horrible. Man. The willow looks okay. That's why it gets its name. It bends but doesn't break. Bends but doesn't break. And I left the hydrangeas out and they seem to be just fine look at that they're like perfect hmm. Sean just mentioned uh, thank goodness we haven't planted out our dahlias yet because we would have these three 48 foot long beds and then these two 48 foot long beds and gosh that would have been like <coughs> hundreds and hundreds of dollars been that would have been devastating so it could have been worse that's find the rainbow it could have been worse However though, just kind of just telling them like all of our, we can start kale again and spinach, but like the kohlrabi and like all those cabbages, like I'm just, I'm done. And like all of our flowers, like the foxglove, most of the bachelor buttons. Or, what, over winter, we planted that yeah, last fall. Yeah, so like we're, we just lost all of our crops. Yeah. Do you look to see the glass? Anything? Yeah, the glass greenhouse was fine. Um, all of our like, blackberries and it broke all of these off you see um our willow made it our willow is great yeah bent but not broken Man. yeah that's crazy that is crazy when you see it like just tore the wood off yeah. completely and then surprisingly like the roses look okay but the blackberries look it's like, like the, the yeah the tips of a lot of them are broken yeah you think they'll bounce back what I think everything will bounce back. Yeah. I mean, even your daffodils and stuff like, yeah, the flowers are broken, but yeah. you, you'll, you'll, you'll have more next year. Yeah. All right, well, we assess the damage. What's the report? <laughs> uh, the greenhouses are fixable. Like. Just new we, plastic. New plastic. We are fine. All the crops are dead. <laughs> Like all the overwintered flowers, everything I've already planted out. So like brassicas, uh, all the flowers, Sean and I just planted around the flowers. The spinach uh, did. The spinach looks okay. And like, I can start that again, but like the cabbages, I won't be able to start that again and yield. I'm not even sure about like the kohlrabi and stuff like that. Um, Man, that stinks. It does stink. Well, and like, you know the bachelor buds and stuff like we grew that over winter um like we had already like promised that to market too so like we're losing money on stuff like that and we can't just like start that again like these were things we planted in last fall you know so that's a little discouraging um and i think it worries me slightly that like this was the calm before the storm and it did this much damage yeah uh, what is the next couple days hold yep you guys pray for us. <laughs> Y'all pray for us. At the end of the day though, like we are here, we are fine. Our That's kids right. are fine. Literally my entire farm could be swept to the ground. And if like my family's safe, we'll rebuild. That's right. You know, and so right. when I was praying, I wasn't praying that God would keep my things safe. I was praying that God would keep my family safe. And so really that's all I could ask for. Here is an update though. Um, I mean, it. it it's sad it sucks like that's work that we have to redo now um crops that we've lost and so that's always just a bad feeling you know but yeah it could be worse so right. we're gonna we're gonna find the rainbow <laughs> and realize that it could have been worse but we've got a lot of stuff to do <laughs> yeah. we got a lot of stuff to pick up try to repair um before it comes back in tonight and kind of assess some things too like what are some things we could potentially do 
uh, to set ourselves up to survive this again the next few days. But thanks so much for hanging out with us, guys. <laughs> we'll talk to you soon. Bye, guys.